bueno amigos, ¿cómo están? Una nueva edición aquí de Auto 060 en Cristina Radio Network. Tenemos un show cargado de información, así que sin perder mucho tiempo, we're going to switch back to English immediately to talk to Dominic, Dominic Infante from Subaru to about the new 2015 Subaru WRX. So Dominic, uh, another uh, Subaru event, another great event uh, with you guys. Uh, now with the WRX, the 2015 WRX which uh, has a lot of new things, uh, including the coming back of, uh, of an automatic transmission mm -hmm. and, and many new things in this car. Uh, yeah, I know. Uh, the, the really big news is, uh, the, is the chassis development. We put a lot of, of money and effort into the chassis on this car. It's probably the best chassis we've ever had. Um, but, yeah, we've done a number of things also to make it a more appealing car overall. So we know there are some customers out there living in some urban areas where they really want an automatic transmission, but they want a car that can still be sporty uh, on the weekend. So we have created this CVT transmission, but we knew it had to be fit for a sports car. So we modified it heavily. Um, we've made it in there so you can really drive the car with it. So it's very similar to a DSG gearbox, a dual-clutch gearbox mm -hmm. you find on a lot of other cars. Um, has that same feel. It imitates that feel because it's a, a, a CVT doesn't really have any real gear settings, but we can mimic them. So we want to make it feel like a regular automatic, If you're just driving around town and you can feel it shift a little bit, people are a little bit more comfortable with that feeling. But we also want to be able to tap into the fuel economy that you can get out of those cars. So in, a, in its engine management mode, I mode, you can get 30 miles per gallon on the highway with that. In a, in a car that's got 268 horsepower and is very, very fast also. And then you go into Sport Plus mode and it's like driving this manual transmission. It turns it into an eight, eight speed gearbox. It holds the gears through corners. Um, you can downshift for engine braking going into corners as well. So it puts you in control. And so when you're, let's say, on the weekend when you want to go hit some really great roads, you've got the, the ability to control the car like you would a regular sports car. And then on Monday morning, you can drive it to work in heavy traffic, and it's still very comfortable. So truly the best of both worlds, right, uh, oh, but, with, you know, with that transmission? We right? really are, yeah. And we're trying to get there as close as possible. You know, it's, it's an improves your fuel economy. Um, it, you know, your overall average economy goes way up into the 28 miles per gallon area. But at the same time, you can still have fun with this car. You're not limited to, to a car that's boring to drive. You're always able to start downshifting using the paddles, which are standard on that car, obviously, or, or changing the engine mode to a to a, a much faster feeling mode. So you, you get quicker acceleration in Sport Plus because you, you've changed the throttle mapping system. So the throttle response is really quick. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. And, and the same thing with the gearbox. It, and, and it even has a launch control mode as well uh, to get maximum acceleration. Uh, and this, this, this uh, car should do 0 to 60 and with an automatic is 0 to 60 in just over five seconds. So it's, it's a very, very quick car. And it's also a very comfortable sedan that you can use to take friends out in. Um, The rear seats go down. You can put race tires in there and go hit a Gymkhana on the weekend or go cycling or whatever it is you want to do. So it, if it's a very active lifestyle. That's, that's everything. Fast. <laughs> yeah, it, it is. Actually, they're very, you know, the, the sense of the usability is there, like a, like a typical Super. You know? Exactly. So uh, if, if I bet you if you didn't tell uh, a person who drives this car for the first time that that's a CVT, they wouldn't believe you. You know, yeah, and that's actually the, the comments we have. We, we started bringing the CVT out with the, the Legacy and the Outback. We thought we would get... Uh, Uh, owners complaining or thinking the car wasn't shifting right or anything like that. And really, to be honest, not very much at all. Uh, uh, people like it, it, it because it it really does act like a um, like a normal automatic yeah. around town, and, and they get the fuel economy boost, which is really the main the main aspect. That's why a lot of people were switching to that out of manuals, because the fuel economy of the CVT actually was better than the manual. Yeah, um, the WRX is not the most sold Subaru model, but uh, it's very, very good. I mean, the, the people who mm -hmm. buy a WRX always buy <laughs> a WRX and want more of it, right? Yeah, it's funny, you know, like this car has been actually grown in popularity over its, 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 its final year as a current style, and our sales are up uh, 30% for WRX and SDI. Uh, so it, it, it's, it's kind of funny. The, the car is still very, very popular, even though that design has been around for quite a while. You know that this new car we think is going to is going to meet a lot of demand for people who have been waiting for the new one to come out. And uh, like I said, the the difference in handling is pretty spectacular. This car has so much more grip. It uses the same size uh, wheels and uh, very similar tires to the previous car, but just just in pure terms of grip, the handling is just phenomenal on this car. Yeah, uh, yeah we uh, just experienced that driving here on uh, Napa Valley, and like the, the twisties were <laughs> very fun. Yeah, we, we've added torque vectoring to the car, so that assists in the turn-in going into a corner, so it'll start, it'll break the inboard tire and put torque to the outside tire so that you turn in much quicker. We've redesigned the rear suspension as well to have more towing, um, once again aiding you to rotate the car in the corner. 
Um, the chassis has been stiffened after where the suspension piece is touching. You know, it's, uh, it's 38% stiffer than the previous chassis. Uh, new electric power steering, which is actually quite good. It's a very nice system. Um, we've, we've gone to a, like a flat bottom steering wheel like a race car. Uh, so we really tried to improve the, the interior uh, as well as the exterior and make it feel um, like you're getting a lot more for your money. And we have added a lot of content standard on the yeah. car. And we haven't announced pricing yet, but we're taking it, you know, it's not going to go up too much. It should be a very reasonable price increase, but you get a lot more for, for the money. And once again, also another traditional Subaru value, very, very safe. Uh, we're, we're targeting, you know, top stage big plus with these cars, um, you know, because it'll, it'll meet the small overlap uh, front end collision. So, yeah, it, it, it's it's a very well-rounded, very solid car. So the other uh, thing that it's, uh, or it's not in this car, is like five door is gone, right? No more. There's no five door. It's a sedan only. Yeah, we, when we took a look at the, the amount of uh, money we were putting into the chassis development on this car, you know, something had to go. So the development cost would have been, you know, too much, you know, to go and develop just a, a WX uh, five door as well. Uh, but like I said, this is a very usable sedan. So, um, and, you know, traditionally, going back, uh, you know, WX was always a sedan. It was um, a sedan only for many, many years. Well, until this new generation car that we came out with, this kind of this short uh, five door that we, that we have. Makes sense. So, what a way of closing uh, 2014, uh, 2013, I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> this is a 2015 car. So, it's a 2015 it's like a car. Vision there. But Subaru did a, had a great year in 2013, huh? Eh? Uh, once again, best sales year ever. Uh, our, our sales have been extremely solid. Um, everything is selling very well. Uh, we have uh, very limited supply on a number of the cars. You're down to a 14-day supply on Forrester. You know, uh, Forrester has been tremendous this year. Car of the year for uh, yeah. Motor Trend, right? Motor Trend SUV, SUV year. Uh, than, we've yeah. also, Outback is still selling incredibly well. Uh, Legacy and Preza and Crosstrek are just uh, fantastic sales as well. So, yeah, it's been a very good year for us. Um, we, you know, we've taken the approach, though, solid product, uh, good engineering, lots of safety, and uh, we don't really do a lot of incentives and kind of that kind of the, the, the game a lot of the other car companies play. It's just, you know, like we, we try and get by on a product merit, you know, and, and I think our owners really appreciate that. They come to it knowing, okay, this is going to be a very durable vehicle that I could buy, and it's going to be a lot more fun to drive because it's got this uh, great, great all-wheel drive system that we, we, we have standard on all of our cars. And, um, and it's safe for, my, for me and my family, yeah. Excellent. Well, uh, thank you very much for having us uh, all this year and, and your events, and we hope uh, to see you back uh, soon in 2014. Thank you. Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting.